Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. John DeYard at LifeSpot.com, where we prove the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with modern science. And today, I want to talk about the connection between long-haul COVID, your lymphatic system, and low levels of serotonin. I want to talk about the science behind them. And some of that science came out early on in COVID, linking COVID to lymphatic congestion. And we're going to dive into that in great detail today. Now, if you're watching this on my website at LifeSpot.com, please subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss any of these articles Check out our Ayurvedic store on your way out. And don't forget to read this full article with all the scientific references about what we're going to talk about today. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube or another platform, please subscribe and follow and like our content if you so choose. All right, let's dive in here. So when you're exposed to or having an immune event, there's exposure and vulnerability. Not everybody who's exposed gets sick, but pretty much everyone is exposed. They did a study with, uh, in an office building. There were 80 employees. One of the employees got a little drop of an artificial virus on their hand. By the end of the day, 70% of every surface in that office had that virus on it. So exposure is like going to happen. These bugs have billions of years of trying to figure out how to make sure everybody gets them, right? Um, when they did use a... Um, a disinfectant, not an antibacterial soap, but a disinfectant, it reduced that contamination down to 10%, so it's important. So let's talk about the lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system carries your immune system. It lines your intestinal tract, um, which is where your gut immunity is, which is 70% of your immune response. Your gut immunity is bidirectionally linked to your respiratory immunity. So between your gut and your respiratory tract, that's pretty much the lion's share of the immunity in your body. And if that becomes compromised, you're gonna be more vulnerable to an immune event. So that's what I wanna dive into. You know, one study showed that the, that the brain lymphatic system, which is the lymphatic system in the brain, uh, which dumps three pounds of plaque and trash out of our head of your while we sleep, and if that brain lymphatic system gets congested, it's been shown in studies to be linked to anxiety, depression, cognitive decline, inflammation, infection, and even autoimmune concerns. And they found that, that um, folks with uh, chronic fatigue syndrome as a result of long haul COVID has significant congestion of the brain's lymphatic or lymphatic system, right? Another study showed with folks with mild COVID, four months later, their brain lymphatic system was still congested. And I want to talk about ways to help move the brain lymphatic system, some Ayurvedic techniques that you really need to know about. Let's talk about the serotonin piece of that puzzle. Studies show that folks who had long haul COVID, they had chronically deficient levels of serotonin, and they also had compromised immunity, but usually those levels would bounce right back. But in long haul COVID, those levels of serotonin did not bounce right back. So when you think about serotonin, we know that 95% of it is made in your gut. Well, it turns out that that's exactly where your lymphatic system starts is inside your intestinal tract. And so what Ayurveda would say is that your gut health is directly linked to your gut immunity, which is directly linked to your lymphatic flow and the lymphatic flow around your belly and your hips, which can get congested with extra weight, as we know, can cause congestion and push waste out through the skin associated lymph. It can cause the respiratory associated lymph to become congested, make you there more vulnerable to an infection. And it can also cause the lymphatic system to congest. And if the master computer is congested and it can't get its three pounds per year of trash out of its head, then the master computer may not know how many fire trucks to send to the fire on Main Street. Maybe it sends one or a hundred. And because of that lymphatic congestion, then you may not have that appropriate immune event response, right? So your digestive health is critically important here. So I wrote an article called the Digestive Health Quiz. You can go to lifespot.com and take that quiz and find out which part of your digestion is broken. I have an ebook on the lymphatic system. You can learn how to support your own lymphatic flow. We have herbs like mangista and lymph cleanse and lymph vein. All these herbs are used for supporting the whole lymphatic system. Really important to understand and know about. But you can't just 
shovel snow in a snowstorm. You got to fix the upstream digestive issue that's causing the undigested proteins and fats, or should I say incompletely digested proteins and fats to get into your intestinal tract. The studies show they will be too big to get into your blood and nourish you. They'll get uptaken into the garbage can in your intestinal tract, and that garbage can is your lymphatic system, which first congests around your belly, from con congesting, compromising your gut immunity, and then eventually it congests the respiratory lymph, compromising respiratory immunity, then it can get pushed out through your skin associated lymph, and even into the glymphatic system, causing a master computer you know, regulation compromise. So the techniques that I really love, first, gut health, digestion, uh, your lymphatic system, I've written so many articles on all of these things, just go to lifespot.com and, and, and type them in. I'm giving you links in these articles as well. And also breathing techniques. Studies show that when you, that 91% of athletes do not have a diaphragm that's relaxing, contracting fully. So most of them aren't are breathing fully. And the guess who the number one pump of your lymphatic system is in your body? Your diaphragm. And when you have COVID, what happens to you? You don't breathe very well. Studies like you know, maximum inspiratory breathing techniques in hospitals are approved for COVID before, during, and after. Ayurveda, I use one called Pratiloma. I have an article on how to do that. And there's also an article on the best diaphragmatic exercises on my website. You can go and learn how to do these deep diaphragmatic strengthening exercises. So critically important to get your respiratory efficiency back, pump the lymph out of your head, and pump the lymph throughout your whole entire body because your lymph system is carrying in your immune system. The other technique I want you to read about and learn about is an Ayurvedic technique called nausea. And I wrote an article called nausea, sinus congestion, and emotional baggage. And you go to my website and I'll link that in this article as well. And you can read an article about an Ayurvedic technique where you sniff medicated oil up into the sagittal sinuses, which is where the brain's lymphatic system is. 50% of this brain lymph drains into the paranasal sinuses and down into the cervical lymph and back to your heart to be processed out of your body. So those are the techniques. I can't talk about all that in this video, but I've got much uh, uh, other videos that go into much greater detail with videos of how to do these techniques, the, the breathing techniques and the nausea techniques. So, so please check that out if you're struggling with some chronic fatigue resulting from an immune event. Um, I think that's it. I hope that helps you. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.